everyone, welcome back to the second live ask a question, get an answer with Monica Louvre. So today I'm going to get back into the orders that we've received for ask a question, get an answer. But before I do that, I am gonna go back to one of the orders that I previously did. I did a reading for Upendra and I'm gonna make a note in the previous video of this. I didn't pull advice for you. And I mean, I would feel really bad if I did the reading and I didn't pull the advice for you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to quickly pull three cards and I'm just gonna tell you what your advice is. I think in the original uh, reading that I just did for you, actually, I um, uh, I didn't pull advice, okay? I didn't pull advice. And also I wanna mention that I did mention to you kind of what your advice is and I'm pretty sure the same um, message is going to come out. So this is for Upendra 72150, 72150. Now your reading was all about this person coming back, leaving, coming back, and this is about you building your self-esteem. So I just wanna know what is the advice for Upendra when it comes to the potential reconciliation? Now, I did mention to you that your reconciliation is going to happen, but it, nothing's going to change here, okay? Because it's a karmic that you were dealing with. So what is the advice here for Upendra? Okay, so you have the uh, Three of Swords here, okay? You have the Three of Swords here. This is about you being honest with yourself, okay? I think the five of cups was your challenge and it's showing up again in your advice. So your biggest piece of advice here is to shift your focus, okay? What is actually holding you back, Upendra, is by you not being honest with yourself about what this person does. This person comes, they leave, they do have a third person that they deal with. You constantly are in this place of not talking to this person, you know, for a while. And there's something here about you wanting to move forward, but you can't. So you need to look at this situation from a very clear perspective by really getting into this place of developing your uh, intuition because intuitively your gut is telling you that this person's a liar this person often is in and out um, all the time they may have a second person on the go and all it's doing is holding you back okay so if you're someone who wants to move forward you need to be honest with yourself and you need to be able to be clear about what it is that you want moving forward okay so that's your advice we're going to move on to the following order now now we've done uh, Mary, which is order 7218 in the previous live. And we're going to move on to uh, Anneli. Anneli, I think I'm saying your name right. Anneli. Anneli. And Anneli is someone who purchases extended readings with me. So we're going to take a look at your sign so we know what your sign is so that we can, you know, people can listen along and... Uh, thank you so much for purchasing the extended readings in the store. I do appreciate that. So, uh, Anneli, your order number is 72262. Again, it's for Anneli. And this is an ask a question, get an answer. And order number is 72262. 72262. Okay. And Anneli is a Scorpio. So if you're watching this and you're a Scorpio, uh, you're getting a free free reading. So, uh, so yes, so Anneli uh, is a Scorpio. And your question is, uh, get an an uh, ask a question, get an answer live with Monica Louvre. Uh, will we reconcile and come back together? Okay, so you're asking if you're gonna come back together with your person, Anneli. So let's get into Anneli's reading and let's see what's going on. Before we do that, let's clear the vibe. Very good. Okay, let's get into it. Tell me about Anneli. Is there going to be a reconciliation here for Anneli? Is there going to be a reconciliation? Tell me about Anneli. Tell me about Anneli. Tell me about Anneli. There's something here about cookies or baking. I don't know if you like to bake or you like to bake with your person. There's something here about cookies, chocolate chip cookies. I don't know why I'm getting that. I'm getting shortbread as well too. Okay, 
Okay, so your challenge in Ellie is the star. And your what you don't see coming is the sun upright. Okay, so for you, your biggest challenge here is the star. Okay, one of the things that you don't realize in Ellie is the fact that you still have a lot of healing to do. There's something here in your life, and I don't know if this is something that happened in the past or you're, it's something you're currently going through. You're still in this place of needing to recognize what it's going to take for you to get back to being you. Okay, there's something here about you getting back to being you. Okay, and uh, with the star here, there's something here about your future. This is about you focusing on your future. You're very, very much uh, finding it challenging to determine what your future is going to be like is what I'm getting with the star. So we're going to clarify this and see why it's your challenge when it comes to whether or not you're going to reconcile with this person. Now in the recent past, I do feel there was already a separation. The separation started in the past. Things stopped moving forward between you and this person. I do feel there was a lot of competitive energy here in the past between you and this air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, could have been a Cancer or a Leo. Uh, Aries I'm getting as well too. Just keep in mind when I do mention the, the signs, it's energetic. It Your person could be one of those signs, but it's more or less an energy that I'm sensing. So there was a lot of uh, this very br brutal energy here in the past, okay? I don't want to say this, but I, I feel like there's a possibility this could have happened. I feel like there was a very bad fight between you and this person. It's like almost like throwing dishes or throwing things or, you know, and right at that point, it was like, we're not moving forward. <laughs> we're not doing this. Uh, so there was definitely some sort of separation with the two of wands here. Things stopped moving forward, chariot in reverse, and you have the five of swords here. So there was definitely some sort of cutthroat trauma here in the past that led to the halt of the relationship and ultimately a separation. Now in the present moment, you have the knight of swords in reverse. Knight of swords in reverse. You have the Five of Cups upright, and you have the Ace of Cups. I'm going to be real honest with you, Anneli. You're still reminiscing about this person. Am I going to get back together with them? Are they going to be with me? Do they still love me? Do they want me? And you're really quick. You're like, yes, all I need to know is if they're going to, if they want me, if they want me and they want to reconcile with me, I'm going to run to them. I'm going to go. The problem that I'm seeing here, okay, is, you know, with the five of cups here, you're really focused on something here that went wrong within the connection. And this is why your challenge is a star because you're still healing. You're still going through this process of needing to heal something within you that happened in the connection. And you're still, by the way, focused on this negative experience that you had. One of the things that I'm seeing for you, and you may not want to hear this, but I have to say it, new love is coming in for you. And there's a new love that's coming in. I don't feel like this is with your person from the past. It could be, but I'm really strongly getting that this is a new love. And the reason why I say it's a new love is because right now, your, your focus right now with the star here is about your future. This is like, what is my future like? Am I going to be happy, Monica? Am I going to be able to heal from the trauma that I experienced with this person from the past? Yes, I still love this person. Yes, I want to be with them. But the main concern, and by the way, this Ace of Cups can be a new beginning with your person or it could be a new beginning with someone new, but I'm going to keep it real. I feel like it's a completely new person. And the reason why a completely new person is coming into your life is because there's still some sort of healing that needs to take place. I feel like this person who's coming into your life is a Pisces or it could be a Cancer or Scorpio or if that's your person's sign from the past, it could be them having a new beginning with you. What you're being called to do in the present moment is not to rush into something without thinking about it because this is something that you often do. You rush into things, you don't think about it, and then you... you you know, uh, hindsight is 2020, right? They say hindsight is 2020, which means we often see our mistakes after the fact. Okay. So, you know, right now in the present moment, you're still in this place of either sadness, grief, upset, pain, and having a new beginning is not going to happen for you if you're not able to shift your focus. Is the new beginning there? Yes, it is, but you don't see it. 
Okay. So that, yes, there is a possibility for reconciliation, but you need to, you need to shift your focus and you need to also recognize when you're rushing towards something without thinking about it. Cause all that does, uh, Anelli, all it does is lead you to more and more pain and it leads you into this place of finding it challenging to heal and recover. Now, in the near future, you have the Seven of Cups in reverse. You have the Devil and you have the Eight of Swords. This looks good. And, you know, what you don't see coming is the sun. So it looks like there is a possibility for you and this person to be happy again, uh, happy together again. Is this person coming back? Absolutely. Could be a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Even though, okay, even though this person's coming back, doesn't mean that things are going to change. They can still come back. But it doesn't mean that things are going to improve. And the reason why things don't improve yet doesn't mean that they can't improve. It just means they haven't improved yet. They can improve when you and this person identify the conflict, identify the toxicity, the trauma, the drugs, the alcohol, the anger issues first. This needs to be cleared up. Are you ready? Is this person ready in the near future to do that? Yes. The reason why is because you have the seven of cups in reverse and you have the eight of swords in reverse. So you and this person energetically no longer want to be in this place of being isolated from one another. You no longer want to be in this place of confusion. So your biggest challenge moving forward is going to be to heal yourself. It's going to be to heal yourself, to completely get to this place of grounding yourself again, maybe potentially talking to this person about the future, what you think this the future entails okay because there's definitely something here about you and this person coming back together but there's still issues that need to be resolved so what needs to be healed what is the biggest challenge here for Anelli when it comes to this reconciliation So you have the emperor, which is clear, or excuse me, you have the star, which is clarified by the emperor, the hierophant, and the wheel of fortune. You right now, and this looks good. So when it comes to your question, are you going to reconcile? Yes, there is a reconciliation, but you need to resolve something here within the connection. There is going to be an opportunity to do that. I do see your biggest challenge here is bringing stability back to your marriage or your relationship in general. It doesn't matter if it's a marriage or if it's a, just dating. Uh, there is an opportunity here, but you also need to heal yourself there's something here about you needing to heal yourself heal the relationship talk about your fears uh with this person and they i do feel they're going to listen because they want they want to hear how you feel what is the advice here for anelli what is the advice Your biggest piece of advice here is the nine of cups, the four of cups and the world. It's a very similar message that I got for a previous um, order that I was doing. This is about you putting an end to the expectations when it comes to this person. Is this person going to love me? Are they going to make me happy? Are they going to show me love? Are they going to, you got to stop with this. Okay. There's a need for you to start investing in you, loving yourself, indulge in yourself, give to yourself. When you start to give to yourself and you completely forget about the idea of coming back with this person and having expectations this person's naturally going to come back to you but you really need to put an end to this energy of expecting when you give something to this person you expect something back and when they don't you get disappointed and then that leads you to this place of needing to heal so there's a need for you to really focus on loving you and once you do that I see this situation having potential to come back together for you okay so that's what I'm seeing for you and Nelly we're going to move on to the next order number I'm gonna move on to the next order now, if you are watching this live and you're interested in having a personalized live reading with me, I only do the personals on live on the channel. So if you are interested in having that uh, with me, the links will be below for you for your convenience to check out. And just keep in mind that all the personal readings are live. I do not sell my videos. Nobody has possession of my videos. Okay, they're only on YouTube. If somebody contacts you uh, on Instagram or contacts you on any other 
social media platforms. I do not use any other social media platforms. I may start using Instagram again because I am doing personals, but uh, I don't really mingle with other social medias other than YouTube. And you all know that. So uh, just keep that in mind. Okay. So links will be below. All personal readings are sold out officially for this week. They will be most likely restocked for the following week. Okay. Just want to clear the cards here uh, before we get started on the next order because we have a lot of reversals, but that's how it needed to be, okay? Your reading needed to have reversals because that's what you needed to know. Everything happens for a reason, okay? All right, so let's take a quick drink. Okay. Okay, so we have Nira. Nira is next. Nira. And order number for you, Nira, is 72268. 72268. 72268. Okay. And Nira also is someone who purchases extended readings. Thank you so much. You actually, um, purchased one I think yesterday or two days ago thank you so much for supporting the channel I really do appreciate it okay and Nira is a Taurus okay so if you're a Taurus and you're watching this uh then you get a free reading okay <laughs> uh so this could be related to you as well but this is for Nira okay order number let me just say the order number again just to make sure it's order number 72268. Okay, just want to make sure I'm getting the numbers right. Okay. Okay. All right, Nira. So Nira, your question... Your question here is ask a question, get an answer live with Monica Louvre. Will we reconcile and come back together? Okay, so Nira wants to know if their per, her, her person or their person is coming back. Okay, so tell me about Nira. Tell me about Nira. Is there going to be a reconciliation for Nira? There's going to be a reconciliation for Nira. Tell me about Nira. Is there going to be a reconciliation? Tell me about Nira. Is there going to be a reconciliation here for Nira? Tell me about Nira. Okay, so Nira, your biggest challenge here when it comes to whether or not this person's coming back is the Ace of Pentacles. And what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is the Two of Wands upright, okay? So I'm going to be really honest with you, Nira, and you know, you may not like what I'm about to tell you, but when I was shuffling the cards, I heard no, 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 no. And I don't like to say that. I don't like to say that, but I am very intuitive when it comes to how I read cards. I don't just shuffle, pull cards and read them. I am um, clairvoyant. I'm clairaudient. I get mess. I get voices in my head about things. Like, I don't know who the voice is, but spirit guides, angels, I get all of that. I kept hearing no, no, no. But even though I heard no, 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 it doesn't mean that you're not going to have love. It just means you may not have love with this person that you want to get back together with. What you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is the two of wands, which often talks to me about a life changing event. Things are changing or going to be changing in your life. There's something here about a separation continuing to happen. You may be in a relationship with someone who's at a very, they're at a, um, they're, 
how I say this? They're, they're at a distance, like they're far away from you or they're in a different continent, country. There could be a body of water that's separating you and this person. And if that's not the case, there's something here about you and this person really being in a separation for a long period of time. Now your challenge here is the Ace of Pentacles. So what this is indicating to me is there's a brand new opportunity that's coming into your life. I have to say this, Nira, your opportunity that's coming in is way better than this, this person, okay? Uh, we're gonna clarify this and see why it's challenging for you to accept this new person that's coming in. So let's talk about the recent past. Now in the recent past, you have the Ace of Swords in reverse. You have the Ten of Swords and you have the Ten of Swords upright, okay? You have the Six of Pentacles upright. And you also have the Ace of Swords in reverse, okay? So what this is indicating to me uh, in the recent past for you, there's something here about you giving a lot to this connection. You gave a lot of money, time, effort into this. You never really were clear on whether or not this person really wanted to be with you and if they really wanted to end things. I do feel things did end between you and this person in the past. It was a extremely painful for you. The reason why it was extremely painful for you is because you invested so much of your time and energy into this and you couldn't really make sense of why it came to an end. It's like, why did this come to an end? I gave everything I could to this. I gave it all. I gave everything to this. And it's like, it ended. Why? So there, there could have been some sort of lesson here in the past, Nira, about you giving and over giving to something when you're not 100% sure about it, okay? And as a result of that, something here ended and it was something here that you didn't want to end, but it needed to end because there was a very big lesson here about how, uh, how you give, how much you give, and if it's even worth giving to this person because you were never really clear on why things ended. Now, in the present moment, you have the fool, you have the Eight of Cups and you have the Star. You're trying everything in your power in the present moment after this person left you and walked away. Water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I'm getting an Aquarius. I'm also getting uh, an Aries, Gemini, or a Leo. Leo is very strong here. You could be one of those signs or your person can be one of those signs. I feel in the present moment, you are being called to have a new beginning. You're being called to accept the fact that this person left. You are in this place of healing. So you may be doing salt baths. You may be healing your energy, you know, listening to tarot, watching tarot. This is about you focusing on your future, okay? So if you haven't been doing that, you have a decision here in the present moment to either remain in this place of feeling unhappy and sad because this person left, or you can be in this place of, you know what, I'm going to be confident I'm going to have my new beginning and I'm going to heal myself. And if this person comes back, great. But if they don't come back, I'm not attached to the idea because what you don't know is there is going to be a separation indefinitely. That's what I'm seeing here. I don't want to say that, but that's what I'm seeing. And, and what is replacing this person is a new opportunity. Okay. And we're going to find out what that is, but overall you are doing a lot of healing and you're being called to have a new beginning and release these emotions that you have for this person. Because first of all, I, I strongly feel, Nira, that in the present moment with the Eight of Cups here, you or this person weren't even really satisfied. And they're, they're, it's very clear that someone here is just not satisfied with what is taking place. And there's no other choice but to have a new beginning. Now, in the near future, you have the lovers, the sun, and the strength. You have no idea what's coming into your life. You have no idea. You're so attached to this person from the past that you ended things with badly, by the way. You ended things so... You and this person, the breakup was like chaos, and you are still upset because you gave so much to this and you didn't get anything back, okay? In the near future, things change for you because what is ending up coming into your life is a soulmate. You are going to meet a soulmate. You are going to find a lot of happiness here with this person. But first, you're going to have to learn how to have strength because you don't have that in the present moment. That's why you're going through what you're going through. That's why you're forced to go through this separation. And this separation is indefinite. It's one that's going to continue to happen. And the reason why it's going to continue to happen is because it's done. When it was done in the past, you should have accepted that it was done. Why? Because there was tons of confusion. And you constantly tried to make things work over and over with this person. I do feel at one point things were very stable between you and this person. But then a tower moment happened. This person tried to apologize. But even though they tried to apologize or you tried to apologize, things never really changed. 
changed. And this is why spirit in the present moment is telling you, you need to have a new beginning. You may even be seeing double digits. Like you may be seeing, you know, like five, 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 seven, 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 two, two, two. You may be seeing some sort of synchronicities either in tarot readings or in the readings I do for you or in the numbers that you see because spirit is telling you, look, your angels are telling you, look, you need to take a leap of faith and you need to try something new, especially if you're not satisfied in the present moment. So a soulmate is coming in for you in the near future with the lovers, but you're going to have to have the strength to accept that your happiness is the most important thing that's important to you. There's no point, Nira, in being in this place of constantly feeling lack. There's something here about you feeling lack, not feeling happy, but still believing it's possible. And that's fine. It's good to be optimistic, but you also need to be realistic. And that's what I do on, on the channel. I'm very realistic about this, okay? I take this stuff very seriously. And the reason why I do is because it helped me in my personal life. Okay. So it's very, very important that you recognize when something is done and when there's a brand new opportunity that is coming in for you. Let's find out what this opportunity is and why it's challenging for you to accept it. Let's clarify the Ace of Pentacles. So the Ace of Pentacles is clarified by the Seven of Pentacles, the King of Swords, and the Emperor. Listen, you have somebody amazing that's coming into your life. Earth sign, Capricorn, uh, Virgo, Taurus, I'm getting an Aquarius, an Aries, a Gemini, or a Libra. This person's coming in. They know what they want. They're not going to play games with you. You are going to be in a place of questioning whether or not you want to give a new person a chance. You are. Because what happened here in the past was you gave, you either gave a lot to this person financially in the past or you gave your energy. There's something you gave to this person in the past. They disappointed you. Things ended. You couldn't make sense of why things ended. And now you are going to be shifting your focus and healing yourself. You're going to be focusing on having your own new. First of all, I'm going to say this. And again, I'm going to be, I'm going to keep it real. You all know I keep it real. You're being forced to have a new beginning alone in the present moment. You're being forced to have a new beginning alone by yourself. And the reason why this is, is because you still need to heal from this traumatic experience that you had in the past. You may have forgotten it and you may have said, oh, it's no big deal. I'll get over it. No, no, no. It's still something that you need to heal from. This new person that's coming in, they're very smart. They're somebody who, uh, they're very logical. They're very smart. They could um, read books or work with maps here. And you may decide to invest with this person. And that's how you and this person start. There, there could be a business opportunity or something here about business. Okay. So a new person's coming in I don't see a reconciliation okay I'm just gonna keep it real there's an indefinite um separation for you because this person first of all this person's immature there's somebody who doesn't who isn't able to express how they truly feel and you need somebody who's smart logical and can do that okay this person you were dealing with that you want to get back with is younger than you or they're more immature than you and you need some first of all you're Taurus Taurus you need stability if you don't have stability, it's not going to work. You need structure. You're a fixed sign. This person couldn't give you that. This Gemini or this Libra that you were dealing with. Okay. If they don't have a sun air sign, they're either a rising or something like that. Okay. So let's get some advice for you. You have the Knight of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups, and the Eight of Wands. Here's the thing. Your biggest piece of advice here is when love comes into your life, you need to immediately express when you feel there's confusion. Because what ends up happening in your love life often is some confusing situation happens. You kind of get all wrapped up in the love aspects. You get all kind of in this fantasy of like, ooh, I'm in love. Ooh, this is nice. Ooh. And you forget that the issues 
surrounding the connection need to be discussed. Communication is a very important aspect of any relationship. When communication is non-existent, it leads to confusion. It leads to slow moving energy. So your biggest piece of advice, whether you end up reconciling with this person or not, like I said, I don't see a reconciliation. I actually see an indefinite, indefinite, excuse me, separation. I see a new person coming in, but when this new person comes in, they're coming in very slowly. And when they come in, instead of assuming that starting a new beginning or having a new beginning with someone is scary, I don't want to do it, you need to get clear with yourself why you feel that way. And if you feel like this person has options or you feel like you're, you know, this person's a cheater or they're a liar, whatever you're feeling, don't be afraid to express, okay? That's your biggest piece of advice. You need to express how you feel and you need to also don't be afraid to communicate. Don't be afraid to say what it is that you need to say because what that's going to do is it's going to really help you recognize where you're actually at within the relationship, okay? So no reconciliation, indefinite long-term separation, but a new person's coming in who's a lot better for you, okay? So let's move on to the next order. Okay, so the next order that we have... Thank you very much, Nira, for contributing to the channel. I really do appreciate that. Okay, so let's move on to the next order. Wow, we have a lot of orders. Okay, so we have Maria. Maria is next. Maria is order number 72276. That's Maria 72276. Okay. Now, Maria, I don't think you've purchased extended, so I can't see your sign, unfortunately. But yes, so your question is, ask a question with Monica Louvre live. And the question, the preset question for you is, are they my soulmates? Okay, so, uh, so Maria, 72276, you want to know if your person is your soulmate. Tell me about Maria. Tell me about Maria. Always clear the energy because we're dealing with a lot of random energies today. So we got to drive out the old energy off the cards. Okay. So tell me about Maria. Is this person a soulmate? Are they a soulmate for you? Let's find out. Maria, is this person Maria's soulmate? Is this person Maria's soulmate? Is this person Maria's soulmate? Okay, so your challenge here is the Four of Swords. And what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is the strength in reverse, okay? So right now, uh, Maria, your biggest challenge here when it comes to knowing whether or not this person is your soulmate is there's something here about you needing to, he to heal and rest, heal and rest, really go within, heal, rest. There's something here about you always being on the go. You're like, a, you, you're like, you're like always on the go. You got something to do all the time is what they're telling me. It's like Maria's constantly on the go. Uh, there's something here about you being forced to heal. You don't want to rest or you don't want to spend time in bed. You kind of just want to go. You want to do it. And your challenge here is to rest, to heal. Okay. And we're going to find out why that is uh, because this is very much connected to you attracting or being with this soulmate. Okay, so in the recent past, you have the Queen of Swords, the Sun, and the Emperor. It was very clear here in the past that you had a very beautiful relationship with this person. 
I do feel with the emperor energy was very stable. It's something here that brought you a lot of happiness with the sun. The sun is all about happiness and warmth. Emperor is about wisdom and stability. And you have the queen of swords here, which is, you know, yeah, I want to be with you. I like you. Air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, maybe a Leo. I'm also getting an Aries here. Okay. Now, if this isn't your person's sign, it could be your sign or it could be the energy associated with uh, this person. But I see a lot of happiness here in the past. Okay. Now, in the present moment, you have the Eight of Swords. You have the Four of uh, Pentacles, and you also have the Ten of Swords, okay? So in the present moment, I'm really strongly getting that you are healing from a devastating ending that happened. I do feel like you are in isolation. You are by yourself. You're constantly thinking about this person. You're still holding on to this person. Here's what is really important for you to know in the present moment, okay? Is this person your soulmate? I think the first thing that you need to recognize here uh, right now, Maria, is what is a soulmate to you? What is the idea of a soulmate to you? There's something here about an ending that happened. And this ending has really devastated you on a very deep level. You're still holding on to this person. Uh, I do feel to some extent here that things have ended between you and this person. Uh, it's not telling me if they're your soulmate yet. When I clarify, I'm going to see. But there's something here about you still holding on to this person, even though things have ended in the present moment. And I think the biggest message here for you is to shift your focus. There's a need for you to be happy within yourself again. This is a very big test, okay? So this person can either be a karmic or they could be a they could be one type of soulmate. Now, one thing that uh, I may have not mentioned on the channel to you or to other viewers, a soulmate can come in different shapes and forms. They can come in as the most nicest person and then teach you the biggest lesson of your life. They can also show you your ego. They can show you what you need to work on within yourself and what spirit actually does. Okay. And I'm telling you this because you, I'm going to be honest with you. You don't know what a soulmate is. Okay. You may watch this and say, what are you talking about? Of course I know what a soulmate is. I've read many, many books. I've read many articles, but what does a soulmate mean to you specifically? I'm not saying what somebody else said in a book. I'm not saying what somebody wrote online. I'm saying, what does it currently spiritually mean for you? And what it means for you right now is there's a need for you to recognize that you're bigger than just what is in your mind. There's something here about you could be a Taurus or you could be a, 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 a sign that's very interested in the physical realm, okay, like an earth energy. There's something here about you needing to shift your focus when it comes to love and endings. When something ends, it doesn't mean that your, your life is over and there's no opportunities. It means that that cycle, that chapter is done and there's a new cycle that's coming in for you. And that's what I see happening for you. There's definitely a shift that's going to be happening in your life. And you need to be prepared for this shift because this shift that's coming in for you, uh, Maria, is the four of swords. You are going to be moving on to something bigger and better and you have to be healed. You have to be rested. You have to be well taken care of in order for you to be able to move to this next this next cycle of your life. But most importantly, in order to shift this focus that you are experiencing, you need to recognize why you're still holding on to something that ended a long time ago. The situation ended a long time ago is what it's telling me. And you're still in this place of, of, of like holding on to it. And you don't even recognize how much your mind is over consumed by this ending. And all this is doing is holding you back from actually achieving and having the love that you truly deserve. Okay, so this is what I'm seeing in the present moment. You need to accept something here that's done and not allow your mind to be over consumed by it. Okay, this is about accepting something and then being able to move on to the next phase. Now, in the near future, you have the star, the six of uh, cups, and you have the 10 of wands. I feel like this person, okay, is a soulmate. I do. But I don't feel that this person is the type of soulmate that you think they are. When I say, when you ask me, is this person a soulmate? That means, yes, this person's coming in. They're going to love you, but they're going to teach you something here, okay? And there's something here you need to accept. I do see an ending here in the near future, but the ending is not a bad ending. It's actually an ending to this drama that you've been facing. I do feel like this is your soulmate. I do do feel like you and this person are going to heal things. I do see a healing um, opportunity here. Now, if this is somebody new that's in your life, because I'm sensing a new energy, 
okay? If this is a new person, this is about you removing your fears about something here that ended, not associating this connection with something that ended, because there's something here that ended in your life in the past. It was a very happy situation, very grounded, very stable, and then it ended. And I feel like right now you're still focused on that. But in the near future, you have an opportunity to heal things with someone from your past. And that's actually going to allow you to completely remove this burden that you've been holding on to for a very long time. What you don't see coming is the strength at the bottom of the deck. So there's something here about you um, allowing this relationship to dictate your strength. And what you, what this soulmate is doing, the soulmate who's coming in, they're teaching you how to have strength within yourself, not to allow your thoughts to over consume your actions or your existence, because that's what we do today, right? A lot of us, you know, allow whatever's happening in the world that stresses us out to determine our life. And it's like, no, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm like separating myself from that. So this person's coming in, they're going to help you heal. They are soulmates star here. You have the six of cups. I feel like this is someone from your past or someone that you have some sort of history with and all the negativity is going to come to an end is what I'm seeing. But you have to be open to healing. It has to start with you. If you're somebody who just keeps going on with your mind and you allow your mind to be overwhelmed by your thoughts, then the healing process doesn't start. And this soulmate becomes more and more difficult to attract and bring into your life. Again, doesn't matter if it's a per new person or a past person. I do feel like it is a past person for you though. Tell me more about Mary's, uh, did I say Mary? Maria. Maria's uh, challenge here. Tell me about Maria's challenge here. You have the Ace of Wands, the Empress, and you have the Magician. Yes, this is about you resting and learning how to manifest the things that you want to create. I do sense that you want to have a new beginning with this person, and you will. But you also, it's going to start with you energetically. Again, if you're someone who is constantly in fear and anxiety about something here that ended in the past, you know, something here that is done that you haven't accepted is over, you need to accept it. Don't have any expectations. Manifest what it is you want. This person is going to come back in. You're going to have a healing process with them. And at that point, you can determine if this is somebody that you want to still be with. Okay. So that's what I'm seeing for you. We're going to get some advice. What is the advice? So the advice for you is the Queen of Cups. You have the Two of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands. So your biggest piece of advice here is to make a decision about your love life, about your soulmate. Is this someone here that you want in your life? And if you do, you need to change the way you think. You need to change the way you approach love, the way you do things when it comes to love. There's something here about you needing to bring something back into balance. It could be your emotions. It could be, there's something here about you pushing people away and not even being conscious of it. Okay, and you need to ask yourself why you do that. I feel like you do that because you still haven't healed from something from the past. And you also need to make a decision about what type of love you want. How do you see this relationship? How do you see this going? Once you have an idea of where this relationship's going or how you want to give to this relationship emotionally, that's when you're going to be able to clearly bring it in and attract it, okay? So this is what I have for you, Mar uh, Maria. Thank you so much for supporting the channel and trusting me to do your personalized live reading. We're going to move on to the next order. Okay, we're going to move on to the next order now. Okay. So we're going to move on to Veronica. Veronica, order number 72292. And Veronica ordered, ask a question with Monica Love, uh, Monica Lube Live. Uh, will we reconcile and get back together? Okay, so this is for Veronica 72292. Okay. So Veronica, tell me about Veronica. Is there going to be a reconciliation for Veronica? Tell me about Veronica. 
Is there going to be a reconciliation for Veronica? Okay, you have the High Priestess in reverse as your challenge. And what you don't see coming is the Four of Cups upright, okay? So your biggest challenge here when it comes to this possible reconciliation that may or may not be coming in for you, Veronica, is the fact that you are someone who's very intuitive. You could be a Pisces or you could have Pisces very strong in your chart. There's something here, uh, Veronica, about you not trusting your intuition, not being able to... Um, listen to your intuition now i wanted to see what your sign is but i have i don't see you haven't purchased um any other extended readings with me so i don't know what your sign is but i am getting a strong energy of water here and i'm also getting a very intuitive energy you're someone who's very intuitive and you could be somebody who is either going to develop your psychic skills over time or you could be somebody who already has psychic skill psychic skills but you haven't used them or you haven't implemented them into your life so this is your challenge right you already know what's going to happen this reading is just going to be confirmation for you okay you're very psychically intuitive i don't know why i'm getting that i mean in, i'm intuitively picking that up for you we're going to clarify your challenge associated with this possible reconciliation in a moment now in the recent past you have this five of swords in reverse five of swords in reverse you have the six of pentacles upright and you have the eight of wands upright. You made it very clear to this person in the past that you, and this is a common theme I've been seeing with the uh, personalized readings. There's something here about you giving a lot, okay? Giving a lot emotionally, mentally, and physically to your relationships. I feel like you did that here in the past. I am getting that you made it very clear that you did that. You said, look, I'm giving a lot to this. I'm, you know, I love you, obviously. I'm doing, and, and there's something here about this person completely disengaging from you. It's like, you know what? I'm not doing this anymore. I'm just going to disengage. I don't want to be a part of this anymore because it was kind of like a conflict or was, it was kind of like, you know, when somebody does something for someone and then they turn around and say, yeah, but I did this for you and I did that for you and I did that. And that's what I'm getting here in the past. And this person that you were dealing with didn't want to hear that. They didn't want to be, they didn't want to start drama with you. So they just didn't disengage from you. And that's how the breakup, the separation happened in the first place. Okay. Now in the present moment, you have the moon, the ace of swords and the hermit. I do strongly feel that you're trying to make sense of your emotions right now in the present moment. It's like, why do I still care about this person? Why do I still want to be with them? Why, why, why Virgo energy here, Pisces energy in the present moment. You want some sort of truth and clarity. But what you need to realize, Veronica, is that you are already very psychically intuitive. You know the answers within. There's something here about you needing to take time out to go within. There's something here about you needing to go within. You need to sit down and be on your own and you need to make sense of your emotions because one thing that you don't realize about yourself is, is that your emotions are valid. You're a very emotional person. You may not be an emotional person on the surface, but deep, deep inside, you are very in touch with your emotions. You're somebody who often either hides your emotions or you're somebody that's that's introverted uh, or you find it difficult to maybe deal with people. But there's something here in the present moment about you needing to take that time to go within. As much as you may not want to, you need to go within. There's something here about you seeking answers outside of yourself. And Spirit is saying you already know what is going on. You already know based on your feelings. Your feelings are actually what is helping you to make sense of the situation is what they're telling me, but you need to listen to that. Now in the near future, you have the death in reverse. You also have the nine of pentacles and you have the queen of pentacles. I do see a reconciliation coming in for you and this person. However, this person, I'm going to be completely honest with you. Is it, we did it. We're doing a reconciliation for you, right? Let me just confirm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we're doing a recon this is a reconciliation. So are you going to reconcile with this person? Yes, you are. There is a reconciliation on the horizon, but this person, I'm going to be completely on completely honest with you. This person is someone who is a karmic. They're a karmic, okay? There's someone who is here to teach you a lesson. There's two lessons that you're learning from this person. The first lesson that you're learning from this person is that you are all knowing you are someone who's very intuitive you could have somebody in your family who is psychic or you could have psychic abilities within your family and they have been passed down through generations to you but you have not 
exercised it, you have not used it, you have not seeked this information. This person is deliberately disengaging from you so that you can go within yourself, okay? Because you're somebody, I'm going to just say this, and it may resonate, it may not, you're somebody who likes to be with other people, or not other people, but you like to be with another person. So you could be an introverted person, like myself, I'm very introverted. I like one-on-ones. I do better one-on-ones than I do with groups of people, okay? I just, I get drained. When I'm with like millions of people, I get drained. And you could be the same. That's what I'm intuitively getting. So you're someone here who's being forced right now to go within to make sense of your emotions because your emotions are trying to tell you something about this person. In the near future, they are gonna come back because things are not completely done. But when this person comes back, you're completely independent. You don't really think about them anymore. You're completely in this place of like, whatever, whatever is gonna happen is gonna happen. You're all about you in the near future. And when this person sees that, this earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, even if they're not that sign, they're coming towards you very stable because they recognize that you've changed. Because in the past, you were somebody who's like, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, I'm doing this, acknowledge me, acknowledge me. Hello, I'm here, hello, I'm here. And this person's like, whoa. Okay, no, I'm not doing this. Engage, disengage, disengage. So you are learning two things. You're first learning how to become independent, how to be confident, number one, and how to trust your psychic intuition, intuitive abilities, okay? What you don't see coming is the Four of Cups with the Four of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords. What you need to realize is that this person was only in your life or only has been in your life to teach you something. Yes, you two are going to come back together. Yes, there's a reconciliation, but there's still this energy of like, eh, I'm going to keep my options open, okay? And that's what you don't see coming. It's like you can still remain holding on to this, but the the, the truth is, is it's done. You Have you learned the lesson that this person is trying to show you? And it's all, and by the way, the lessons are always subconscious. They're not conscious. You're not, you're never conscious of the lesson that the person's teaching you. Otherwise it would be too easy, right? So you're learning these two lessons, how to develop your intuition and how to become more self-reliant and independent without having any expectations when it comes to relationships. Okay. So let's clarify your high priestess in reverse. Let's clarify the high priestess. So the high priestess is clarified by the four of wands, the three of pentacles and the three of wands. Yeah, this is about you moving on with your life. This is about you manifesting what you want. This is about you moving forward. Three of pentacles is about you working things out with this person. You will start to work things out with this person when you start to develop your intuition because your, your, your feelings and thoughts tell it all. I'm also getting that you are someone here, your biggest challenge here is about the fact that you hold yourself back. You hold yourself back by already knowing what's gonna happen. You question it all the time and that's you holding yourself back from finding the love that it is that you want. I do feel your biggest challenge here is about you getting into this place of working things out with this person. But you already know. There's something here about you knowing. You're, you're a very, very intuitive person, okay? So if you haven't developed your intuition, that's something you're being called to do in this reading. Now, what is the advice for Veronica? What is the advice? <clears throat> Hierophant, the Three of Pentacles, and the Queen of Swords. You need to be honest about how you feel with people. Not only this person, but with people in general. Your, how you feel, what your mind says and what you feel are very valid. And your biggest piece of advice here is if you truly want a commitment, a marriage that is going to work out, you cannot hold back your feelings, your thoughts, your ideas. You cannot say to yourself, wow, that's a crazy thought. Wow, that's a crazy feeling. Like if I sat up here every day and I'm getting these intuitive feelings and I just sat back and didn't say anything, then I'm not being honest with myself and I'm not being honest with you. And I don't think anybody wants to watch someone who kind of dabbles. That's one of the things, it's one of my biggest pet peeves. When somebody goes around, they're doing a reading for you and they're like, they're like circling the issue. It's like, just go there, jump, dive in, put your bit, put your bathing suit on and jump right in and go for it. Why are you dancing around this issue? You gotta trust in this, your intuition, because it is valid. Okay, so this is what I have for you, Veronica. I hope you got something from this reading. We're going to move on to the next order. I just want to thank everyone who's been liking these personal readings and really recognizing that when we do these personal readings, you're getting a free reading. You're getting a free reading. This may be your reading. Even though I'm doing a reading for someone else and it's personalized, 
there's still always something to be learned, okay? So thank you so much for uh, liking the videos. Thank you so much, Veronica, for supporting the channel and trusting me to do your uh, personal ask a question. Okay, so we're gonna move on. We're gonna move on to Renee. Renee. Renee is next. Renee or Renee? I think it's Renee. Renee. Is it Renee? It's Renee, right? Okay. And Renee, your order number here. Um, and Renee is also someone who has purchased extended readings. So thank you very much for purchasing extended readings in the past. You are a the sign of cancer. So if you're a cancer, you're getting a free reading. Uh, thank you, Renee. And your order number here is 72344. And it's ask a question, get an answer live with Monica Louvre. Will we reconcile and come back together? Okay. And this is for Renee, 72344. Okay, will we come back together? Okay, so Renee, let's ring the bell. Okay. Tell me about Renee. Is there going to be a reconciliation for Renee? Is there going to be a reconciliation for Renee? Tell me about Renee. Is there going to be a reconciliation here for Renee? Your challenge is the five of cups in reverse. And what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is the ace of cups. Wow. Okay. So Renee, your biggest challenge here is the five of cups uh, in reverse. I did get a similar energy for one of the previous orders that I did. So this is obviously a very common uh, theme for a lot of people at this time. There's something here about you not seeing something for what it is, okay? Whenever I see the five of cups in reverse, at least now what I'm intuitively getting is this is someone here who chooses to see what they want to see, okay? I am getting a bit of a stubborn energy here uh, about, you know, life in general, about, you know, negative experiences that have happened you may be looking at negative experiences as somebody here who feels sorry for yourself there's a victim energy here but the truth is there's always something to learn when there's failures okay so you're getting over it you're recognizing that there's something here that you need to release and get over it could have been a third party situation maybe this person lying or cheating uh, even if that didn't happen there's something here emotionally that you're trying to release and the best way to release this situation is by by not looking at it, looking at it as you being a victim, but rather looking at it, it it as excuse me as what is my lesson here? What do I need to learn so that I don't repeat the same mistake again in the future? We're going to clarify that and see more for you in a moment. Now, in the recent past, you have the judgment in reverse. You have the Knight of Swords. And the Page of Pentacles, something's telling me it was a Scorpio here in the past. I'm getting an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or a Taurus, okay? And in the recent past, I do sense that this person, first of all, this per you may have made an offer to this person or they may have made an offer to you. Somebody here rushed into things without thinking about it. You could have rushed into having a relationship or being with this person without thinking about it. You know, it's like something here that you needed to realize and learn, okay? Judgment in reverse, you didn't know it at the time. Okay, so I still see here in the past that there was a desire to have an opportunity with this person. The problem that I'm seeing here in the past was you and this person were not on the same page. One person was giving to this while the other person was rushing towards it, but the energy was not in sync. 
One person here in the past, I don't know if this was you or your person, I feel like this was your, your person or it could be you, there's a lack of experience here in the past and that's why something here led to maybe a separation or a disconnect here in the past. Now, in the present moment, you have the Knight of Cups, the Two of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. I do feel like there's an opportunity that is coming into your life. It could be with the Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You need to make a decision if you're open to receiving this opportunity. I do feel like this opportunity has a lot to do with what you don't see coming, which is new love. After a tower moment that you experience, there's been a lot of anxiety, but you will be happy again. I don't see a reconciliation here with this past person. I do see you meeting up with them. Uh, you will be possibly meeting up with them, but it's only to meet up with them to express how you feel because you're still trying to get over this. This pain, this sadness, this trauma, this fear, this anxiety, this uh, disappointment. It's a disappointment. And you're getting over it, but you're not completely over it because you still need some sort of closure with this person. So in the near future, you have the moon. You have the queen of swords. And you have the queen of pentacles. So you are going to be meeting up with this person. You're going to be expressing how you feel. And at that point, what I see here is you releasing this person correctly, which is ultimately going to allow you to move on towards a better connection. This is what the two of cups is here. It is representing the new love that is coming into your life. Your reading is very straightforward. There's not a lot to really know here. The key here for you right now is to continue doing what you're doing. Whatever you're doing, it is attracting a new energy into your life, but you've been very indecisive about moving towards new love because you still feel very much connected to this person. I am getting like, um, um, how do I say this? I am getting like a, what, what's the name? Is it sweet 16? Like, you know, like prom, you go to prom with this person. It's like, it's like, you've known this person for a long time. This, this person that you're like, are we going to reconcile? And you're comfortable with this person. You're very comfortable with them. So the idea of you moving on or being with someone else isn't something that you really see. And that's why a decision has to be made in the present moment about whether or not you're open to it. Cause someone here is coming in and they're offering you love. Okay. They're offering you that love. There's the cup. Okay, they're offering you that, okay, after this breakup that you experienced, but you will reconcile with this person. It's but but being with them, maybe there's a there's a small possibility, but I don't feel it's to be with them, be with them. I feel like it's for you to get over. I could be wrong, okay, because I'm not a hundred percent, but and I'm rarely not a hundred percent, but for you, it's different because the energy is different. This is a very strong soul connection that you have with this person. But the question is, are you and this person going to be on the same page in the future? You and this person, I have to say this to you, okay? Um, Renee, okay? We're doing Renee's reading. I have to say this to you. I'm really strongly getting for you that there's a soul bond here between you and this person. And you and this person were not mature enough in the past. That's why it didn't happen because you didn't know. But in the near future, you and this person are a little more mature. You're able to sit down and really talk about your feelings. So yes, this could possibly lead to a reconciliation and it could lead to a new beginning. But I also feel you are going to have a, an option to have a new beginning with someone completely different as well. And that's why the decision is going to be yours. Now, let's talk about your challenge. Okay, so the Five of Cups in reverse is clarified by the Seven of Swords in reverse, the Four of Wands in reverse, and the Knight of Wands in reverse. You need to accept the fact that this person did cause you pain. They did hurt you. They did leave you in a place of uncertainty and wondering. And that's the reason why a new love is going to come in. Because what Spirit is going to do is Spirit is going to fill your cup. Spirit is going to make you happy again. And when you have options at that point, you're going to be able to decide which one you want. But this is about you really needing to get over some sort of negative experience that is still plaguing you at this time. And there's something here about accepting that this person, they, they were not mature in the past. You and this person were maybe very young or there was a lack of really connecting with the purpose of why you two came together. And that may not happen until the near future. And that's what I see you coming together back with this person to have a new beginning, but there's also new love that's coming in, okay? And you're gonna have to decide. What's the advice here for Renee? 
You have the Eight of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Ten of Swords. Your biggest piece of advice here is to work things out with this person that you ended things with. There's a huge potential here for you and this person to be happy and to have a long-term commitment and connection, but you both have to be mature enough to sit down and have that conversation and not be afraid to express your emotions. So yes, I do see a reconciliation here as long as you work through the issues that are related to being immature and related to your emotions, being able to clearly express how you feel. Because like I said before to another viewer, uh, your emotions are valid, especially as a cancer, you're ruled by the moon, you're very emotional. You may suppress your emotions and that's not healthy to do, okay? So that's what I have for you, Renee. Thank you so much for supporting the channel and trusting me to do your personal live reading. So we're gonna move on to the next order. Now, I don't think we have much orders left. We have, oh, we have, we only have three more readings to do, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little break. I'm going to log out of the live here now and I'm gonna come back and do the following orders uh, momentarily, okay? Thank you so much and I will see you shortly, bye.